Hello everyone, today we are going to do labial bow. It has three parts, incisal segment, two vertical lobes, and retentive tack. The incisal segment will be seated at the incisal third of the teeth, of the anterior teeth, from the buccal group of canine till the buccal group of the canine. Then we have two vertical lobes. From the buccal group of canine, it will start, and it will come down below the gingival margin by two millimeter, and going interproximally between canine and first premolar, then the retentive arm and tack will be done. So it is made of 0.7 millimeter stainless steel wire. First step, you have to adapt the wire this way with your fingers to the arch form of the cast. From buccal groove of canine, you have to hold it passively. From buccal groove of canine to the buccal of groove of the canine should be adapted. When the adaptation is okay, you are going to mark the buccal group of canine with the straight side of the Adam player. You should hold the wire before the mark we made this way. So the player and the wire are at the same plane. Should be same plane. Don't hold it like this or like this. Should the wire and the player should be at the same plane. Hold it before the mark we made for the straight side. Make a 90 degree bend. And straighten this piece of wire. Then you have to check it on the cast. This is it. When this side is done, you are going to repeat the same thing for the other side. Mark. Make sure that the incisal segment is seated at the incisal third of the anterior teeth. And at the buccal groove of canine, we are going to mark again. And with the player, straight side, hold it before the mark we made. And the wire should be with the player at the same plane. And make a 90 degree bend. This is it. So from buccal groove of canine till the buccal groove of canine, it will be adapted. Okay, we are checking occlusally. The adaptation is okay. The 90 degree bends are okay. We say the vertical lupus will be 2 mm below the gingival margin. This is the gingival margin. 2 mm below the gingival margin we are going to mark. With the round side of the Adam here, we are going to make a U-shaped vertical loop. And you should rotate the player with the loop you are making to make a U-shape. This way. going to do the same thing for the other side make sure that the incisal segment is at the incisal third of the anterior teeth and two millimeter below the gingival margin you are going to mark with the round side of the Adam player we are going to make vertical loop and slowly rotate the player with the Loop you are making to make a U shape. This way. So we have incisal segment, two vertical loops. Now we are, so the incisal segment is adapted. We are going to adapt the loops. Hold it with the player with your finger, push it inward toward the cast. Slowly, little by little. Now 
this side is adapted it's good then we are going to do the same thing for the other side Now the adaptation is good. These two wires should be at the proximal area between the crank and premolar. Now we are going to check it conclusively. The incisal segment is adapted from buccal groove of canine to the buccal groove of canine and the armus of the vertical loop is should contact the contact point between the canine and premolar both sides so when these things are okay we are going to mark the contact point between the canine and premolar with the stress side of the adam player make a 90 degree bend side a little bit on the premolar okay that's good we are going to mark that contact point between the canine and the premolar with the stress side of the adam player 90 degree bit the incisal segment at the incisal third of the tooth to vertical lupus we are going to just adapt the retentive arms after the bend with the round side of the player make two tags It should be one millimeter away from the palate. Like this. So, let's move the incisal segment from the buccal groove of canine to the buccal groove of canine. It is seated on the incisal third of the tooth to vertical U shaped lupus. And it's passing into proximally between canine and first premolar and the retentive tuck. The incisal segment should be adapted to the to anterior tooth surface. And that's it. Thank you.